One, Pennsylvania. The linen closet was where they found the cat. She had been missing for two days. She was an indoor cat. They worried she might have gotten outside somehow. It was the younger one, the daughter, the short-haired cat. No longer a kitten, but close. Six toes on each foot. We called her Bootsy. I loved that cat. I think I loved her too much, so much so that it sometimes hurt. I would have died for her. I imagined scenarios where I would heroically sacrifice my life for hers. Speaking directly to evildoers, to supervillains, invaders, thieves, bullies. Take me instead, I shouted at them. I jumped into raging waters, oceans, rivers, lakes, holding the cat above the water while I suffered bravely and silently just beneath the surface and slowly ran out of air and died. The morning they found the cat was the last day I would see my father for over a year. He was dressed in a collared shirt, a color somewhere between red and pink, short sleeves, his tattooed arms tanned and strong. The end of summer. I was still wearing my shorty pajamas. The apartment was already hot. So hot. Too hot. The sticky Brooklyn late summer heat so bad, even this early in the morning. My father had a satchel open on his bed. I watched, quietly, as he began folding his shirts carefully, placing them on the bottom and followed with socks rolled into tight little balls, and then his underwear, and finally a pair of pants, black. All his pants were black. The last things he put in that satchel before it was zippered shut was a razor, a can of shaving cream, a toothbrush, and toothpaste. The bag was just like the one in the James Bond movie we had seen at the Graham Theater earlier in the summer, just as school ended when a satchel of money was being zipped closed. That's how I knew what to call this bag. They used the word satchel, and I remembered it. Then the sound of that zipper closing, loud through the speakers in the darkened theater. Zip, zip, two times. I imagine my father is Bond, but there was no money in that bag. Where are you going? A moment of nothing, of silence. Then an answer. My mother answers. Business trip. Where? Pennsylvania. I nod and hear my sister yell from the hallway, Here she is! I found her! Her words overlap Pennsylvania and the zipper, so it all sounds as one. We all go to the closet, the door open, the cat laying in the sheets behind some towels, the smell of vomit and death. She's dead, she speaks. She's always speaking, my sister. And I knew it was because of me that the cat was dead. I had squeezed her tight, so tight, tighter than love, tighter because of love. I love you so much, Bootsy, so much, so much, this much. It was two days ago that I said that, as I listened, standing at the closed door to my parents' bedroom, as they talked about my father leaving, and they never once said the word Pennsylvania. Not once. A word I would have remembered. Pennsylvania. So much I love you, Bootsy, so much.